Good morning. Do you love your Volvo? Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm going to show you this canvas function extender. It's a little device that can make some extra features for your car. It's used in the OBD, so it's no, no install requirements. So I will show you now how to program it and so on. So now it's connected through USB. The thing is that they now sell a Wi-Fi version. I don't know anything about it, but I guess it's more simple. So it's Swedish Solutions that offers this one. Uh, go into SwedishSolutions.com. I, I don't get any money for this, just so you know. Um, so I started the software, which I downloaded, and I put in the VIN number. And now I have this connection. Now it will read the device. Um, in here, you will be able to make some cool changes with um, lights, um, tailgate, electrical windows. It takes some time now, so it's uh, online. It takes a long time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, I just restarted the software, so it's actually my computer. Here you have different tabs. Here I can uh, check mark for uh, closing the tailgate by the remote control. I know that there are some modules on the internet, but this one it's just one of the stuff you can do with uh, this dongle or CBE. CFE, um, <clears throat> you can uh, add extended wash wipe, uh, remote control to close the windows, not press and hold for four seconds, it's just, you see here, it's, it's a bit easier. Um, lights, I can have extended beam, I can have a extended approach light, actually, so it's automatic when I... Um, uh, when it's dark, it uh, starts the approach light automatically. Also enable daytime running lights. I have a 2009 Volvo V70, which don't have daytime running lights. So I am programmed it here to use fog lights. In my version, I don't get the park lights, which I need to have for according to the law in Sweden. So I just made a physical connection, so it works super fine. It's also switch to low beam when there's when it comes into a tunnel or when it's getting dark. It works actually really good. Also when I unlock, the approach light will turn on and so on and so on. What do I want what do I want to happen when this occurs and stuff? You can go into the web page and check Climate, instruments, miscellaneous, uh, I don't have RTI, so I don't know anything about that. Tools, you can read the trouble codes, the error codes, if you like. Uh, I use other tools for that, but this, guess, it should work. So, now I'm going to program it in the car, and I will show you how easy it is. Okay, so we're down in the car. I'm going to take the canvas function extender and put in the OBD, which is here, done, okay. I put in the key fob, press and hold for two seconds, now the is on and I will wait until the check lamp will turn off, then I start the car. There could be other ways to do this, but this is the way I do. And what should happen now, at least within some time, is that we'll go out here. Let's see. It should turn on the fog lights because it's daytime.
And now it did. So now it's programmed on. Now we pretend it's night, so it automatically turns on low B. Cool gig, cool thing. Okay, that's nice. Okay, follow me to the back. So I opened the trunk. And now I should, by just giving a short press, close the trunk. That's it. No wiring, nothing. Also, when I... Nothing. I don't know. Sorry, that was a feature I don't really know. I don't remember. Uh, okay. Uh, go in and read on the web page. But for my P3, I'm really happy about it. Because, of course, you want the tailgate option by closing it with a remote. I also have this S80 2004. Um, that's a P2 platform. You can also do a lot of stuff with this canvas function extender. I get, I, I think you get more benefit on the P2 pa platform actually. Some of the features that you have in the P3, you will also have on the P2. On this thing, this one, nothing. Well, if, uh, if there are any questions you have, just let me know. But I've been using this canvas function extender for yeah, I have the car for one year and it works super well. Uh, I'm really happy about it. The only thing which I emailed and asked about was that according to the Swedish law, you need to have parking and fog light on at the same time. Uh, you from Sweden know that you can't have low beam and fog light on the same time. But I just made a quick wiring and now it's all good. Thank you. Bye.